All right, so in this video, I'll be showing you how to retrieve deleted messages on WhatsApp. Now, please note that um, this is not going to bring back messages you saw before watching this video. Like, the messages that have been deleted before you saw this video will not be retrieved, unfortunately. Unless you have a backup, you will not be getting those messages back. But from now henceforth, if you follow the steps, whenever messages are deleted from WhatsApp, you'll be able to recover them. For this to work, you're going to need this app called Recover Deleted Messages. So once you download it to your device on Android, I don't know about iPhones, just tap the open button here and follow the steps that we created. All right, so you can read the privacy policy if you want. If you accept it, you tap accept and just wait for a while. This may take like 15 seconds to load. So just be patient. When it's done, I'll get back to the video. All right, so what you want to do next is select your language. So. I understand English compared to the rest of the languages here. So I'll select English, or you can also select default. It will just take the default language that's on your phone. And then you tap this check button up here. So tap here. And from here, you have to choose WhatsApp. This is going to make sure that it captures messages that um, are sent to WhatsApp. So after that, you tap next. Next, you want to grant all these permissions. So start with the first one. Just tap this and tap here and tap use this folder. Tap allow. Next, you go to notification reader. Tap it and you look for the app. So this is the app over here, recover deleted messages. If you don't see it at the top, then you can scroll through to find it. You tap allow notification access. For my device, I have to wait for a few seconds before I can um, grant it the permission. But for you, you just need to tap allow and then OK. All right, so after doing that, you go back. Finally, you tap auto start. And this is the app over here. So you enable it. Then you go back. Finally, you tap allow. Next, you tap got it and got it. And that's all. So, now, from here on, whenever a message is sent to your WhatsApp, the message is also going to be displayed here. And when the person deletes the message, uh, you can always come back here to check for the message. I'm going to do a demo on it, but before I do that, I want you to know that um, it won't work if you're offline. And I don't think it works with pictures because I've tried it with pictures. It only shows an icon of a picture, but it doesn't show you what the picture is, even if the person doesn't delete the picture. So yeah, just keep that in mind. All right, so to demonstrate that the app works, I'm going to send a message from my phone here to this one. And after that, I'll delete the message. All right, so it has been sent and I have received a notification letting me know that um, the message was sent. Next, I'm going to delete it. So the notification is gone. But if I open this app, you can see that uh, the message is still saved here. So yeah it's a good way to always have access to messages that were deleted. Also, if you send a message or if someone sends you a message, you can read it from here without them knowing. Maybe I'll make a separate video about that. But uh, yeah, from here, you can also read the message and they wouldn't know even if they have that blue tick, uh, blue ticks activated, they wouldn't know that um, you have read their message. And if I delete it, you can see that uh, the message will remain here. But on WhatsApp, it should say message was deleted.